Hello and welcome friends. It's me again, Reef, and you guys are joining me for a brand new video on a game called Bear With Me. Well, thanks to the awesome people at gamesplan.com, as usual, my friends, they have given me the opportunity to show you guys this game, Bear With Me, which is an uh, uh, click and point adventure game, but with a horror theme. And it's all noir style, which is cool. And for those of you who don't know, noir means it's all black and white and grey scaly, which is nice. And I see this game is called by Exordian Games. I did uh, change the settings, and as you guys can see, it is on 1080p's. So everything is good, and the music is nice and soft. But uh, yeah, bear with me now showing. This is going to be episode 1. I'm going to show you guys a bit of the game and see what it's like. I have to do say a few things before I get actually started. I uh, actually finally got a new fucking chair and it's not made of plastic and wood so it's not going to be creaky the whole time and it's not going to fuck my back up anymore which is good also I have replaced my old Microsoft Sidewinder X4 keyboard with a Cooler Master CM Storm Quickfire Pro mechanical with the Cherry MX Brown keys so my keyboard might be a bit louder than it was but um, uh, you guys will find it I'm pretty sure anyway uh, let's uh There's no start yo. We can, I'm guessing. Oh here it is new game fucking blind cool effect Okay, let's see. Let's see what this game brings us Exodium games presents Bear with me Now from what I understand apparently you are uh, you're playing the character as the goal and um I'm guessing they're going to show us now, but from what I read and from what I remember, something is lost, something is missing, and uh, the bear is going to help us find what's missing. That looks creepy so far. Please wake up. Okay, no. Female bear. Holy crap, there is a old giraffe called Millie. Okay, so here we have a bed. Look at bed. It's my bed. It comes with all the luxuries a bed should have. That's pretty good. Um, for those of you who don't know me all that well, I am quite If a I had a label maker, I would label this Amber Stuff. And I would keep my label maker there. As you can see, her name is obviously Amber. Let's use the case. Okay, in here we have a battery. Can we use the battery? I'll just pick this up. You never know when it might come in handy. Yep, that's the golden rule of these kind of games. You always need to collect everything. And also, pixel hunting is a thing in this game. Apparently, this is inventory. We have battery and we have a Swiss army knife. This goal's pretty fucking sorted. Okay, controls seem pretty easy to con uh, to use by the disappointing click game. Um, obviously, arrow buttons does fuck all. Um, let's go to the drawer. Yes, yes, drawers. Wow, sound effects in this game is so good. Oh, that's right. I remember playing with this a couple of days ago. It fell on the floor and the lens broke. I'll take the magnifier with me, but I better repair it before I return it to Ted. I'm getting Ted is the bear's name. Last night's Early supper. bird cornflakes. I like to eat them in the evening, completely disregarding their overly advertised intended use. Interesting paintings. My collection of paintings. Mom said I could have any painting in the house for my room. It was a rigorous selection process. Sounds pretty fucking good. I really like the voice acting this game has. So, um, <laughs> obviously bear with me. I'm gonna take it's a look all about at the birds and the every bees item and in this how game. the birds like to eat the bees and other insects. That's pretty lewd. Because uh, we need to find any and all information possible. It's a broken clock. Totally useless without the small hand. Glasses? Um, let's go use the glasses. Because I, I think. Maybe I don't really need glasses, but maybe they'll come in handy. Better take them with me just in case. I kind of like the art style in this game. I don't know about you guys. Obviously, the game's running at a perfect 60 frames a second and 1080p. But uh, well, then again, this isn't it's really a... It's filled with mysterious and magical things from the far corners of the Orient. Also toys and stuff. What you would call... Um, use the plant. A graphic intensive Olium game. Cadent. 
When was the last time I watered this? Oh, that's right, I didn't. It's really hanging in there. She's she's kind of mean to plants, kind of abusive, um, and Ugh. just died. She she killed a plant. She's a fucking terrible. It's plant just a person. window. Don't let this crippling amnesia get to you. You can do this. Well, let's talk to Millie. It seems you had a nightmare. Nope. Um. There was a fire. There was this fire, and black smoke was coming from the windows. Funny well, thing is, it didn't feel scary to me, like I wasn't really there. Was it Paper City? No, I don't think so. No, it was. What are you doing here, Millie? Are you all right? Oh no, Miss! Something terrible is happening down in Paper City. I came here as soon as I could. Yeah, I totally wanted to warn you and your brother, brother not to go there, but when we arrived, I could only find you. Oh, yeah, so our what do you mean, person. Miss? I'm afraid your brother is missing. I have to go find Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up on you later. Please, before you go around looking for your brother, Miss, go and find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. He's retired now, but he was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Ted? I know where he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I, we can't work together anymore. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven and he's become a burnout. That's kind of mean. I haven't seen him since he left the city. But whatever falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. Mm, okay. Whichever. Okay, Millie, the game I'll is go called ask Bear it. with Me, so we'll but have to I'm go with sure the bear. I'm not sure if he'll even hear me out. I mean, we left off on a really normal. bad note. It's a shame you two aren't working together anymore. You were always such good friends. But for your sake, miss, please don't go wandering around alone. There is no. something else I haven't told you about. You're old? The reason I came all the way down here. Because there you're is broken? this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. He's asking a lot of questions about you. What man? We call him the Red Man. What? There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week, ever since he showed up. The officials are burying their heads in the sand while this man has an entire city. Your city, miss, cowering in fear. Well, Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime fighting. The mayor and the commissioner have issued a city-wide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. A lot of people are escaping the city. We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance wow, route, but, lady but most of the exits are lot. closed off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? The mugshot yes, boys the helped man. me through the East Tunnel. Bless their hearts. We arrived at Flint's room, but he wasn't there, so I came here to wake you up. I have to go now, Millie. Yes. I'll be back as soon as I can to come no, check on you. No, no, Do you need no, anything? no, no, back. I'm fine, little miss. I just need to rest, is all. Please, before you go out, find Mr. Bear Holy and fuck. ask him to this come along. This person can speak a lot. I don't know about you guys, I personally, I'm not a big fan of people that keep on rambling, 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 rambling about, on about something, kind of like I'm doing now with you guys, so I guess that's fine, but this Millie character is really fucking annoying. Also, I wanted to make a joke, but she kept talking about the all the officials um, keeping their head in the sand thing. Yeah, that's totally, totally, I'm calling it now, the official police people are fucking ostriches. Or, in Afrikaans, a full stress. They learned another word. Amber Ashworth. In Afrikaans, If I had a nickel stress. for every time this broad got me into trouble, I'd be neck deep in nickels right now. Something was different this time. I could feel it in the air. Someone really put the scares on her. Well, that's a lot of color. Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. She starts talking, what and I start pretending I don't care. Despair. I told her I'm retired. For good this time. Fell on deaf ears again. 
I'm really anyway, liking this she starts music talking about game, Millie, though. Paper City, her brother, she and all that jazz. Effect, and I'm wondering how many times we've gone through this before. Jazzy you see, we have this routine where she asks me for help, as she shit, always does, though. and I play hard to get, as I always do. Eventually, I give in. We've done this so many times, I've lost count. Also, this bear's fucking she knows himself. the drill, and so do I. Might as well just hear her out. Her words ring through my office. They get stuck in this haze around my head. And then... They get lost in the cold autumn rain outside, tapping on my window in this hypnotic manner. It's calming in a way. Or is it the booze that makes me calm? Okay, this bear that's supposed to help Not us. Not much to do when you're retired, and hobbies were never my cup of tea. Old I know whiskey. her standing in my doorway with her lady in distress shtick means bad news for me, and yet I know I'm in for it again. The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. The news said there will be a storm tonight. Holy crap. So much setting being done. I mean, it's a Hi, good Ted. Thing. I heard you've retired, but... Cut the ceremony, doll. I ain't doing it. Doing what? Whatever little plan you've schemed up this time to ruin my life. You're bad news, doll. Always were. Do me a solid this time and leave me out of it. I'm busy. I knew you wouldn't help me. I only asked because Millie insisted you come along. Millie? Are we investigating old wives' tales now? It's getting late, doll. Shouldn't you be in bed? I wonder if this bear was, was meant to talk like one of those, I guess, 1920s style detective type people, like doll and shit. But uh, I can't say I'm too much of a fan of the way they're doing it. Well, anyway, um, I was already in bed. I was in bed. Millie woke me up. Well, you should ask her to help you out then. It's so an old fucking you're saying broad. I should ask an old blind woman to help me out? And she's blind. That old broad is tougher than she looks. Now, if you don't mind, I have some real work to do. Drinking? Oh my god, you're still mad at me? After all this time? I really need your help, and I kind of promised Millie I would ask you to come along. Mad? Why would I be mad? I was almost thrown into a wood chipper thanks to you. I think you I deserved was lucky. it. One of the guys we investigated is in my bird watching, um, uh, poker and cigar club. And where were you? You ran off. I was following a lead. Um, somewhere else. Yeah? What'd you found out? Dead, Not much. Um, bears Not a goddamn do better thing. Bed. Listen, doll, I've got a nice little setup here. Lately, I've been doing some tailing work for jealous husbands down in the city. Bunch of nervous train wrecks, but the money is good. I grew tired of pulling bloated toys out of Dredge River. Our days of crime fighting are over. That whole thing, it's behind us. It belongs in the past. Capiche? You've been practicing this speech, haven't you? A little bit. How was it? It was okay. The part about the bodies was a bit much. I threw that in for dramatic effect. It wasn't in the original draft, though. No, His no, it was good. Santa's face is so across. fucking weird. Does it I mean, really? It's more weird than You're the ones here, I do. And I still have a lot and of I know work some to do. of my Santa's breaks can tend to annoy you. Or well, some of you, anyway. But hopefully not not you. No, you. You are awesome. Um, You owe me rent. How about I just keep pretending your office isn't in my closet and you actually owe me rent? That was kind of a cheap shot, doll. But I guess nothing ever comes for free. What's this nonsense all about anyways? So, according to Millie, a lot of things are happening down in Paper City lately. What things? Like all sorts of bad things, and there's this guy that's responsible. According to Millie. The mayor has issued a citywide lockdown. No one is allowed to leave or enter the city limits until all of this is sorted out. They've managed to escape through the East Tunnel maintenance route, but I think that's been closed off too. They? Um... Um, I don't know which one to choose, but they all sound so nice, like the Paper City Orchestra, the Paper City's Paper Mache Association, the Wine and Cheese of the Month Club. 
the bird watchers of the world and Paper City cantaloupe enthusiasts. Oh man, gotta love the wine and cheese of the month um, club. Yeah, Millie and the wine and cheese of the month club. They need a place to uh... get drunk and eat cheese bits. It's called a living room. <laughs> they have clubs for everything these days. Wait, are you making this up? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. The mugshot boys helped her out. I know how much you don't like them. Oh, actually, game. I mean, you got me there. That was actually a good like. joke. That was actually that a good joke, thieves, game. Thugs, yeah, I will, I will concede to you this. This once. was a good joke. But wasn't that baby all the things baby that you've done so far, cop? that was a good joke. Well, yeah, it was. But they didn't know that. Now, did they? Anyways, they helped her escape the city through the East Tunnel, the one that leads to Flint's room, and she said he wasn't there. She believes he's gone missing. There's I need to go and tunnel check on Flint. That leads Maybe he's still to in the house, room. but Millie doesn't want me to go alone. She says it's possible for the Red Man to have found an exit to my house. She's <laughs> really scared. Wait, what Red Man? She was telling me about this man, dressed completely in red. He came down to Paper City recently and was asking questions about me. He's asking questions about you? What's so interesting about you? Um... Hey, I'll have you know there are a lot of people out there who find me interesting. I'm not one of them. Millie is really scared of this man. I can't leave anything to chance. Will you help me out? Whoa there, sugar cup. Even if I come along, and I'm still thinking that one over. I'm afraid a crucial component that'll help in our future investigation is missing. What? Your hat? Your hat? No. I'm phasing that one out. Your magnifier? That's right, doll face. Now be a good assistant and go find it for me. Oh, look, is that I'm sorry, some? your assistant? You know what I mean. Now get cracking. So I guess we have to fix the magnifier glass before we can continue on our story. Um, which means... Water cooler, crime map, window... No. Nope. Okay, don't fucking use the far sneakers. Hmm, let's look at these things. I got this for Flint, with my own money. It's some guardian superhero dude. Very bleak and depressing story arc. Ah, kind of like that thing. Product placement. Ooh. I really feel like I don't own enough shoes. And no, it's not a stereotype. It's just a fact. Well, you have one pair over here, and you have ballerina shoes over what? here. Those must be Ted's. And you have a mask. It's my field hockey mask. My friend Jason wants to borrow it. What? As far as I'm concerned, he can have it. What's the worst that can happen? Ho ho ho, look at that bad joke. Clothing. These are my clothes. The colors are more on the bright side, but I can't help it. I love vivid colors. I'd also love vivid colors, but sadly we have none of those. The light is off. I bet someone wasn't paying his electric bills. Yes, obviously wasn't. Um, glue. Um, I'll, I'll just take that. I bet this glue will be useful. No, that's fine. Glue is always useful. Um, okay, let's uh, go back to Amber's room and leave the bear alone. Because uh, the talking bear takes up a lot of time. We're going to the hallway. Miss, don't go wandering around alone. I just want to find a fucking piece of glass. Miss, don't. Stupid old lady. Uh, pillows. Look at Nothing pillows. interesting about them. Well, one of them has a PhD in clinical virology, so I guess that's something. What? That's a pretty fucking impressive, um... A cardboard box. I think this one is full of my rare bottle caps. It's pointless dedication from a bygone era, I know. I know. Uh, we have books over I've here. I've read all of these. Some of my favorites are The Adventures of Whodunit. Done it like almost gets whacked. There is no I in crime, except for that one. And Love in Other Words, a dictionary review. That is weird. Radio. Um, use radio. Let's see what the fuck's going on. Maybe you have some news. No, no news. No, nothing at all, actually. Pillows. So, so fluffy and comfortable. That's pretty good. 
So, okay, let's see what we have here. We have these. Do what with it? Okay, okay, I'm gonna use this on this. I broke my mom's glasses. Yeah, what the fuck ever, I don't care about your mom. This won't hold. Uh, glue there on we this. Go. And then, oh man. Voila, a my perfect crime. Ted will playing. never know. Broken mirror is fucking awesome. Okay, so we have the um, the magnifier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue on with this game. I'm gonna play it a bit, see what it's like. There will be a link in the description for you guys where you guys can check out the game if you are interested in these kind of things. If you're a fan of point and click games or not. I'm not gonna do a full series on this game because honestly I'm not too sure how long this game is and I don't wanna, um, how should I say, commit myself to a long series if I don't really have too much free time to do it currently. I know you guys are missing a long series but I know also you guys want something more in Afrikaans perhaps. A uh, return of pity from a Hubasluf maybe or uh, maybe a new character, new fresh character but in Afrikaans obviously. I am also waiting Outlast 2. I'm gonna do a new series on that in Afrikaans. That's gonna be oh so fucking awesome. Anyway guys, I'm gonna leave you right here with this and uh, let me know what you guys think of the game in the comment section below, as well as the video. And as always, I'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.